Well, after this video, you will be able to see the rectangular or square waveform. Understand the working of a capacitor in a rectifier circuit. Understand full wave and half wave rectification. And many more. So watch the video till the end. So let us first talk about the hardware side, then we'll go to the computer and talk about the software. So uh, what we are basically doing is that we are making our analog to digital converter or also known as the ADC. So here we'll be using the analog pin in an Arduino along with the 5 volt and the ground to get the waveforms. Any microcontroller or integrated circuit is sensitive to the voltage which we give in and our Arduino can withstand a voltage up to 5 volts where we are inputting in any of the pins. So while using an Arduino we must keep it in mind that we should not supply any voltage exceeding 5 volts and for higher voltages we must use some voltage dividers. So here we will be needing two general purpose diodes 1 and 4007 though I am supposed to use the switching diodes but I don't have them and here we will be dealing with frequency of few of 100 hertz maximum so we can use this kind of diodes jugar now make uh, so let us now make the circuit take two diodes and then solder the cathode of one diode with the anode of the other uh, and from now this junction again solder and another piece of wire which will go to the analog pin of the Arduino again from this junction solder a 330 kilo ohm resistor uh, this will act as a current limiting resistor as well as this proof of the resistor will act as the positive proof of the oscilloscope and now if you want you can add alligator clip after the resistor for easy connections We can say that we are almost ready and now let us see where to insert which pin. So this red wire coming out from this junction will be going to the analog pin 0 that is the pin number A0. Insert it there. Now this diodes will be connected in reverse bias with the 5 volt and the ground. So the, neg so the negative side of one diode will go to the 5 volt like this. Positive side of the other diode will go to the ground. So we are almost done now. What we are going to do now is that we will take another wire and insert it to the ground. And at the end of this wire again I connected our alligator clip for using connection. So this is the circuit diagram you can see now and our hardware part is almost ready. Let us now go to the software. The integrated development environment of an Arduino comes with a serial plotter. But the scale of time and voltage axis cannot be optimized by the user. And in most cases it is difficult to read. So I googled and found out an application named PC Scope. This application gives us a more user friendly interface and also we can see the maximum voltage and all the needed parameters on the screen. Also with the software I got the sketch for the Arduino so the program was already written. I will add the official download link for the software as well as the sketch in the description. And in case if it is not available there I will upload the file which I downloaded in my drive you can also download it from there. After downloading, install the software and open the sketch. Now if you work on an Arduino, you must have the integrated development environment which comes free from the official website of Arduino in your computer. So just open the sketch. So now just open the sketch. Uh, the sketch comes error free. There is no, There are no error in the sketch. So open the sketch and upload it on the Arduino. While uploading your Arduino must connect it to the USB port of your computer. As I told this code is error free and once the code is uploaded we are ready to go. So, so let us now come back to the Arduino and look at the waveform produced by a rectifier, full bridge rectifier and the 555 timer in acetable mode. 
So this is the triple five timer IC connected in a stable mode. In this configuration, the third pin of the IC uh, is the output for the signal and the first pin is always the ground. So, so now I'll connect the probe coming out from my Arduino oscilloscope to the pin three and the black to the ground. Uh, the oscilloscope is looking something like this okay so now we'll observe the waveform on the computer again so after opening the application we need to connect it just click on connect and it will automatically detect the Arduino and once it detect the Arduino you can see the waveform uh, this kind of waveform is obviously not easy so just click on auto scale and it will automatically scale the voltage and time for you so now you can see it is easier to read as compared to earlier and so we get this kind of rectangular waveform when we use a triple five timer IC in a stable mode. So let us now have a look at the waveform formed by a bridge rectifier. So now this is a bridge rectifier using four diodes one and four zero zero seven and this is the AC power supply which is around 2.5 to 3 volts. So this bridge rectifier converts the alternating current to a direct current, ignore this part. I clamped one probe of the oscilloscope here and the other here and let us now look at the waveform in the computer. So as you can see the waveform looks something like this. And so now if we connect a capacitor as it is supposed to be connected in an eliminator circuit, uh, we'll get the rectified version of the signal. So that's all I can give you for this video. If you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more such informative videos. Thank you and have a nice day. See you in the next one.